Hello, hello everyone. As promised for a week or however long it's been, <laughs> this is my release and review video of Simon Says Stamps Send Happiness release. This was the end of June release. Yeah, because we're into July. So this was the June 2020 release. I've already done for once card videos um, before this could go up, but let's just get into it. Lots of new stamps. I have, I think, the entire release here, which is a ton of fun. So let's just jump right in. So we have the uh, Be a Mermaid stamp set. Love. This has kind of literally been like sitting on top because I'm like, I need to make cards with this. I love it. So yeah, two different styles of mermaid tail. We've got sentiments, we've got some waves, little bubbles and all that stuff. Love. There's a coordinating wafer die. I love that there's wafer dies for everything, and then there's also wafer dies for the two, like, scripty sentiments. That just makes me happy. So, we've got that one, and I'm gonna have to, like, move stuff around to show, and knocking things over. Okay, and then we've got more gnomes. <laughs> Another one that I just, I giggled when I opened the package. Love. Chillin' gnomes. <laughs> A gnome eating watermelon. <sighs> uh... They're just, they're cute. So cute. Big mushrooms. I love how this one, like, it's basically like an umbrella, you know? So, yeah. There's gnome buddy like you. How's it going, gnome -y? Sunny days ahead for you. Thanks, gnome -y. Like, keep calm. Gnome, matter what. Love it. Courtney, wait for die. To die cut. The gnomes and the little mushrooms and the little flowers. Absolutely adorable. So, we have that. And then I'm going to move this here. So I can show the stencils. So we've got this one, which goes really well, of course, with that mermaid set. This is the Mermaid Scales stencil. Love. Absolutely love. Like, ink blending, embossing paste. Oh, this would look really pretty with, like, glitter embossing paste. So much. Love it. So we have that one. We have this gorgeous one. This is the Poppy Bouquet stencil. Just fabulous so much like large and again like this would just like ink blending i think glitter paste could look really pretty with this too yeah you would just need to use the big wide like a big wide screen because they have such large open spots but yeah i love the detail they're able to achieve now with stencils it just makes me happy so yeah we have that one we have this really fun one this is the starburst stencil so starburst or fireworks so you've got three sizes of like the starburst and then these you would layer over each of them so you could do different colors so then it would look you know fireworks starburst that sort of thing and then you could also layer the large circles like around it as well just a fun stencil so i and i'm I don't remember who did it, but I remember seeing it during the release. They did it on dark cardstock with, I assume, the um, Decofoil foil paste where you paste it, let it dry, and you can run it through a foil, like a laminator with foil. And they made foiled, you know, fireworks, basically. Love. I think that's so cool. I need time to play. So there's those. And then we have this gorgeous, this is the Poppy's background stamp. Oh. It's another one that's like, really this entire release, this release really just so many things that I absolutely love. So I love poppies. This background is gorgeous. Deep etched, red rubber, on cling foam with the image printed on the cling foam like all of Simon's backgrounds are. So this gorgeous one, I of course want to like just heat emboss it in white and watercolor. I think that would be so much fun just gorgeous. I love it. So it's being, why is it being stubborn? There we go. So we've got that one. And then other backgrounds that have been released. We have this gorgeous, this is the folk heart, folk heart, yes, folk heart background. It's a really pretty pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? So we've that one. Then this one, which I assume is also become already very popular. This is the Tumbling Shells. So that goes really well with the mermaid theme and the scale background. Just really, really pretty. And this one I want to heat emboss and use like my Nouveau Shimmer powders. That would make some beautiful backgrounds. Okay, so many ideas. And then this one also 
works with so many of these. This is the out to sea background. This would work with so much. You could even just cut it apart, like stamp it and then cut it apart and have do it in greens, so almost like, you know, rolling hills. That would look really cool too. Really fun. So that one. And then we have a couple of really pretty stamp sets. We've got, this is the Thoughtful Flowers set. It's just really pretty, like flowers, little, little tiny ones, cute little butterflies. Really, really nice sentiments. This is a six by eight stamp set. So just, just pretty. A very different style than what we usually have, like with the more like simplistic cutesy. So this will appeal to those that aren't as big of a fan as the cutesy, but again, if you watch anything on my channel, I love the cutesy stuff. That's just what I'm drawn to. So yeah, we have that one. And then this one's really, really cute. This is the Fairy Tale Spinners set. Spin. I just realized now, that's why. <laughs> Rolling my eyes at myself right now. The front image and the back image. So you can stamp them, adhere them together, and suspend it on. If you suspend it with like the really thin, clear string, you can make a spinner card with it. I just realized that. That's what it was. So yeah, with both of them, the front and the back. Smart, so smart. There is a coordinating wafer dice set for this, which I highly recommend unless you want to fussy cut. It wouldn't be too hard to fussy cut. This isn't so detailed that it would be impossible. I've mentioned I don't like fussy cutting. I will avoid it at all possible. So I like having wafer dice, but yeah. I just realized that's why it's called fairy tale spinners is so you can make spinner cards. That's so smart. So yeah, another big six by eight set, really cute. Got that one. Again, just knocking stuff over. So have that, we have this really cool, this is the in the round stencil, just a bunch of circles. This works really nice as like bubbles, you know, with the ocean theme things as well. You can use it for that. I used it on, where did that card run off to? It was here and then it ran off. Hmm, okay, found it. I used it on this envelope. It's the easiest way to show it. So yeah, use the stencil and I also use it with some like cosmic shimmer paste. I already did a video. I will link to the videos I've done that, yeah, because I've got like three different videos so far using some of this new release stuff. So I will link to that. So that was the in the round stencil. And then we have some CZ, oh, right before we get to that, more C ocean theme things. We have this little set. This is just the tentacuddles. <laughs> Let's tend to cuddle hugs. I wish I could give you lots and lots of big hugs. Hashtag besties. So just cute. Just a really, really cute little set. Absolutely adorable. Would go with all again with all that like ocean theme stuff. As will this set. This is another pack of the Suzy Plantamira watercolor prints. This is the Susie's Under the Sea watercolor prints. These are printed onto the smooth side of Distress watercolor paper. So you can watercolor them, color pencils, Copics, Distress inks, all that kind of stuff. And they're all just cute little scenes. You can just trim them out after coloring so you don't have to use them like as is. It's kind of interesting to see how other people like interpret it and what they do with the images. So, cause I'll see a card and I was like, I don't remember that stamp. And then I realized it's one of like the Susie Plantamira cards that people have, you know, trimmed out and added sentiments and all that kind of things. So really, really adorable. Love it. And I've said this before, these are really fun too. You could just throw these into like a little container with some markers and a water brush and that sort of thing. And like take it on the go. Gifts for, you know, kids and other people too. And include some little coloring mediums and done. Love. So those, and then we've got this set by CZ Design, and then there's a few wafer dies, which I'll get to in a second. But first off, we have this big, this is the Happy Days stamp set. Typical Kathy Zielski, very like graphic sentiments. Got a couple of flower images, which are gonna play into everything else. A bunch of like buildable sentiments as well. There is the coordinating wafer die set that will die cut a bunch of these sentiments. Love that, love it, love it. So we got that one. And then she also had a background stamp. This was the chunky flower background. And the cool thing with this is you have the background stamp. There is the 
Chunky Flower Mask, which is sized to go with this line up. There we go. So yeah, so you can stamp it and then you can just, after you've stamped it, you can mask, put the stencil over and mask off all that and you can do whatever ink blending you want and it's all just done for you. Very Kathy Zielski with this, keeping things clean and simple. Really love that. So that is the chunky flower stamp, the background stamp. And then of course the chunky flower mask stencil. I used this stencil on a card and I will show that in a second once I get to that. But first off, we'll get some of this other stuff out of the way. So I've got the two printable packs here. So we have the reverse happy, which again, I've used, I used it on this card. So yeah, pre-printed sentiments on Simon's 120 pound white cardstock. And the, all the reverse ones are printed with like blacking to make the lettering white. So you get two sheets of each set of sentiments. I've already cut this down. I just keep them in like Simon's stamp storage um, pockets. So yeah, and then you just trim them down, stick them on a card, you're good to go. These are laser printed, you technically can foil them. I don't bother, I never do. <laughs> Me and foiling is still, still working out the kinks there. So that was the reverse happy, and then this one is the just sentiment strips birthday pack. So this one is just printed black words on white cardstock, and same thing. You get two sheets of all the sentiments to choose from. So yeah, a whole bunch of sentiments, time to celebrate, this calls for drinks on me, celebrating your umpteenth birthday, who's counting? <laughs> Age is just a number, in your case, a very big one. Love it, you know? I like the mix of kind of somewhat snarky and then also just genuine sentiments. Fun. So we've got those. And then we have wafered eyes. So we've got the filigree message rounded rectangle. Simon has a bunch of the filigree wafer eyes over the last couple years where there's like all sorts of different shapes, etc. I die cut this, I think a little bit crooked. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure I die cut it a bit crooked. But anyway, it cuts out all of the little like filigree pieces and then there's a stitch line and then an area where you could stamp a sentiment. So just really pretty and so much detail. There's a ton of like stitching and piercing detail in here as well. It's gorgeous. So there's, yeah, the filigree message rounded rectangle. So there's that one. And then we have three really cute puppy ones that just make me happy. Uh, so yeah, we have little critters dachshund. That's this little guy. So cute. So cute. And like you could literally like, pop his ear up a little bit if you wanted to. So cute. And then we've got the Boston Terrier. Also very adorable. And then we have the Schnauzer. <laughs> so cute. So, so cute. Love them. So we have those. And then we have this gorgeous, this was the leafy branch wafer die. I didn't pop out the center pieces on this die cut. I just left them in. But for the card I'd done, I did pop them out and just kind of tucked it in amidst the flowers on this card. So that's the nice thing with ones like this. You can do either or. So it's just really, really pretty and a nice size too. So that's the leafy branch. And then we have the etched peony blossom and the etched flower buds wafer dies. Those I used on this card. And yeah, all that etching detail gets die cut in when you run it through. And this one I just watercolored. And then the same thing with the etched flower buds. So it does loads of detail and you don't have to color them. There have been tons of videos already out and cards using them just white and then do colorful backgrounds and that sort of thing, which is really fun too. That was originally what I was gonna do, but then I decided to watercolor it because peonies, the color, love, love. So we have those. And then we have some sentiments. We have this great big chunky happy wafer die and chunky love you. These are both by CZ Design. So you have this great love you wafer die. So you got the words and the outline wafer die. And same thing with the happy, 
you have the word and the outline. So I used the word and outline on this card and then the chunky flower, that's the word I used, the stencil, was on the um, background. And then, speaking of wafer dies, I also used the CZ Design Chunky Flower wafer die on these. So use that there, and I used it on the inside as well. Love. So much fun. And then, last but not least of the wafer dies, is the scallop borders wafer dies. And when I first saw like the image of this, I was like, okay, just, you know, more scallop wafer dies, that's great. I like the different sizes. But what I really like about this is they are not like a scallop border. It's individual pieces. So you have a large, a medium, and a small. So, and what I love about that is it makes it so easy to just die cut a whole bunch of scraps of cardstock in different colors. And you can easily create that scallop border look, but you're not gonna have tons of weight of layers because they're just individual pieces. So you can just keep lining them up. Love that. And you get the three sizes to choose from just depending on what you wanna create. I think that's so awesome. So yeah. It'll make really pretty scallop borders, almost like a wave border too, so it'll look really nice with the ocean themed products and the mermaid tails and all that stuff. So yeah, really like these. Once I understood how, what they were and like opened the package, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is fun. This will make for some easy, you know, layering a bunch of colors without adding a ton of bulk to your cards. So got those and then we have bling of course. So I think, I'm just quickly scrolling through the release here, I think. Oh yeah, okay, one more thing. Okay, so first off is the bling. So two beautiful packages of bling. We have the summer ones. I just wanna make sure I get the right name here. Summer Sunset. And then this one is the Blue Lagoon. So beautiful, gorgeous, blingy. I used the Summer Sunset, that's what inspired the colors on this card, so that's what I used for the bling on this card. And then the Blue Lagoon is just gorgeous, and again, goes with everything. So it's fabulous, so we got that. Also in this release, I'll get to the envelopes in a second, was the um, coordinating wafer dies for the stamp set done a video on this. Um, this set came out in Simon's June card kit. It's a beautiful butterfly set and then with the release they did the coordinating wafer dies for this set so you can die cut all these fabulous butterflies which again makes me happy. Less cutting for me. So I use those on this card and just die cut all the butterflies. So yeah, love. And of course, these are all slimline cards. That was the other big thing with this release, which made me absolutely ecstatic. Slimline envelopes, yay, more of them. Simon already has um, just some, like I'll call them basic, like the white ones with the regular flap. But with this release, they released these white ones with an end flap and they're like a nice weight. Like these aren't flimsy envelopes. You know, like that's my thing with the normal business envelopes that you can use for slimline cards is they're very flimsy for cards. So there was white, there was the lemon chiffon, which I used to match this card. I stenciled all over the envelope. But yeah, self-adhesive, love. So there's the lemon chiffon, there's this, do they call it craft or is it just brown paper? Um grocery bag. Love it. Same thing. Side opening, self-adhesive. Love it. I love the texture. It's just fabulous. So that one, the Audrey Blue, which I used again for this. Just stamped it with the butterflies. Makes me happy. So we got those ones. And then last but certainly not least was the um, soft navy ones, which same thing. This was such a good release. It just, uh, so much good stuff. So, as always, I will have links um, in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog. I'll link to these cards as well. They'll be like on the end screen. 
And then, yeah, stay tuned. I'll have more videos coming using all these products. But yeah, all the info will be in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. On my blog, it's actual picture links, so it's easier to see rather than just like all the words in the description box below. But yeah, it's all there to check out if you guys are interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, thumbs up, and commenting, all of it. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.